Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just get straight to it, guys, yeah? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries. I'm seeing a bit of orange. This could be a bit of an emotional month for you. 
Um, this could have to do with family, seeing as though, you know, this is the holiday season. Um, this could be a good thing, you know, you just being happy that, you know, you're getting to spend time with your family and seeing friends and whatnot, or it could be the exact opposite, <laughs> you know? It depends on where you are, you know, with your relationship with these types of people. <clears throat> um, I am seeing that you could have the potential to, you know, clear up some negative karma, some, you know, bad blood between you and some others, potentially. Um, you have to want it, though, and, you know, the other party has to want it. You know, this can't be a situation where you or the other person or the other people are bending over backwards to make this happen, okay? It has to be a mutual thing. And if it's not mutual, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, you know? I mean, Aries, you're not really the type of individual to really care what other people have to say or have to or think about a situation, you know, for the most part. Um, Aries is a cardinal energy, so you're going to blaze your own trail whether others like it or not. But at the same time, you know, I'm sure a lot of you would like the chance to reconcile. But again, it has to be mutual, okay? All right, Aries. I'm going to give you one more shuffle, and then we're going to get started. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Definitely seeing orange. Now, this orange could be just fire, okay? You know, you are a fire sign. You could be fired up about something. You could be really feeling really passionate about something. <laughs> That's so funny, because I was just saying you could be really fired up, really passionate about something, and you've got the Ace of Wands underneath the deck. All right, so there's some inspiration here. For some of you, uh, you could be moving in a new direction uh, in, in career. It could be um, a creative project, a passion project, something that you're really passionate about, something that you're really driven towards doing. I really feel like this has to do, for many of you, most of you, this has to do with um, spirituality, um, something that you've been really wanting to do with your life, something that has a lot of spiritual meaning for you, potentially. Or it's creative, um, you know, and I really feel like this has some sort of independent feel to it. Like you're not doing something that you would normally do. You're, I, I'm hearing some of you may be really going against the grain, but this is something that you're passionately inspired by. Hey, look at what I was, what was I saying? Look at that. The chariot. You could be um, dealing with a cancer. There could be cancer in your chart. Um, but... Also, but this is this passion project that you are, you have really embarked on. You're really setting your sights on something. You have a goal in mind. You have an idea. You have a wish. And you're really moving forward with it in December. Now, it doesn't have to mean that there's a lot of action being taken here. Goodness gracious. It doesn't mean there has to be a lot of action being taken here. But the what I do see is that there's just the momentum the, men, the momentum is here. So um, you, I, I really don't think you'll be giving too much to this in December. December just feels like a month to relax, to recuperate, to take stock of what's, what's happened over the year and to move forward um, with that in mind. But so this really could be, you know, January could really kickstart some real good stuff for you. But there is definitely momentum here. Again, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or there could be cancer in your chart, but that's really just specific for some of you. And we have the Six of Pentacles here. Now, it's so funny, and the reason why I laughed when I saw this was because when I was talking about some sort of situation in which you could be reconciling with family, and I was saying that both sides of the equation need to be willing to, to, to give in order for this reconciliation to be beneficial, to be healthy, and to really take, I was seeing the Six of Pentacles. And here we have the Six of Pentacles. Now... Um, there could be some sort of, woo, wow, we, wow, wow. Um, there could be some sort of reconciliation this month. Absolutely. Um, but also what this is saying here is, um, especially with this passion project that you have, that you're moving forward with, um, finances are going to be really good. 
when it comes to moving in this direction. Now, keep in mind, you know, we are in the holiday season. People are going to be spending a lot of money on gifts and events and stuff like that. So maybe try and keep your 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 finances in check, definitely. You know, keep, keep an eye on your checkbook here. Maybe try not to spend too much, just with an eye on the future. But when it comes to this passion project that you have moving forward, um, there's going to be a lot of balance here financially, all right? And then underneath everything you have the empress this is great now some of you may be getting pregnant also some of you may be planning for a pregnancy some of you may be wanting to get pregnant you're inspired in that way to have children it could be adoption too but with the chariot here i see you really starting to generate the momentum towards that if you're not looking to get pregnant please you know keep that in mind um take your take your precautions <laughs> But here, this is really a fertile, this is this is really a fertile environment, even if you're not trying to get pregnant. And you know, this this could um this doesn't have to mean physical pregnancy. This could mean just a, a pregnancy with an idea, a new direction you want to move in. And what this is saying here is you've probably been gestating this for some time. It's I feel like it's something that could have been on your mind for a while. Um you've been really thinking about it. You maybe you've be even been planning it out. Um, but now you're moving, now you're actually finally starting to take the steps towards that. And that's excellent. That's really, that's really great. Okay, so first set of um, surrounding energies in the first row here, you've got the Six of Wands. All right, so you've got victory here, Aries. Um, I, would, I do just want to caution you against, you know, letting your pride and your ego get a little too fired up here, but you can go ahead and take that victory lap, all right? I really feel like you're feeling quite victorious this month, Aries, and this really has a lot to do with what you dealt with, what you've been going through over the past year. This is definitely a time to take a victory lap because you really have come up, come out on top in some way. Um, you could be dealing with Leo, with a Leo. Six of Wands is Leo energy, and it's so funny because all three, all three of my major signs have come out in this, um, as far as Eastern astrology goes, and that's really what I've been resonating with the most. But my sun is in Aries, my moon is in Cancer, and we have Chariot here, and then my rising is Leo. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. But um, this could be Leo energy. This is pride. This could be ego. So just be careful there. But for many of you, you really do deserve the chance to feel victorious because you really come a long way. Six of Wands is coupled with. The Four of Cups. Now, uh, what I see here, this is an interesting message, but what I see here is someone that has overcome some sort of rejection or some sort of missed opportunity. Um, and also, this could be, this again could be reconciliation, all right? Um, I'm, wow, this is branching off into a bunch of different things. For one, there could be a situation in which, you know, you made an offer to someone or someone made an offer to you and that was rejected or not really taken, not quite rejected, but not really accepted at the same time. Um, any one of those things. And now you are rising up on top. You are learning. You've, you've seen your worth. You've grown. You've changed. You've realized that you don't need to feel so down in the dumps because someone else decided not to, you know, give you a chance, maybe even give you a second chance. At the other hand, this could be a situation in which there was a situation where a, reje or a, a rejection happened or an opportunity was not quite taken, was not accepted, an opportunity was missed, and now you're coming, you're, you're be, the tables are turning, are turning, and now there, this offer is being accepted, potentially. Um, and then also in the terms of like maybe some sort of family situation, if there is some sort of reconciliation that was trying to happen, um, and that wasn't and that maybe that didn't quite go as expected, go as planned. There's still cause for feeling victorious because maybe you initiated things with the best of intentions, but it didn't quite go as planned with the Four of Cups. And so ultimately, you know, it didn't, the, 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 the reconciliation didn't take, but you still have cause to feel victorious here because you at least did your part, okay? Um... It could also be, in terms of someone else here, it could be pride and ego that's causing that. This could be you, Aries, or it could be someone else that you're dealing with. It could be pride and ego that allows this opportunity to slip beneath 
to, to fall through, to slip through the cracks or whatnot, okay? I mean, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, all right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, we have the Nine of Swords. So there's anxiety here. There could be really, could be some anxiety. Maybe someone really did miss an opportunity here, and now they're really feeling anxious about it because you, maybe you're the one that missed the opportunity, or... The other person didn't quite take your offer, and now you're moving on with your head held high because you got you got it going on right now, Aries. So maybe I really feel like, for the most part, this is the other person that could have missed out on an opportunity with you. They're kind of starting to see the error of their ways with the Nine of Swords, and they're like, "Will I ever get this chance again?" Granted, this could be you, um, especially Aries, if. Unfortunately, you were to fall into a position where your pride and your ego kind of little did get did get a little bit of the best of you. You could now be in this position where you're like, oh gosh, oh gosh, what did I do? Like, how can I fix this? Blah 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 blah. Um, at the same time, though, the Nine of Swords is very much about illusions. Okay, a lot of what um, you you or this other person could be worrying about is you know, all made up, you know, it's not, doesn't really, it's not really substantiated. There isn't, it doesn't really have, um, any ground, any real grounds in the physical. So it's just fear and anxiety that's getting in the way. Nine of swords is coupled with, whoa, interesting. The six of cups in reverse. Um, and it's funny because I'm not really reading, re reading reversals here, but this card has come out in reverse. So I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to take it as it's come. Now, the way this is so interesting because the way this is, has fallen, this looks like a nine and not a six, but it's actually a six. It looks like a nine and it's on the nine of swords. Again, this is a missed opportunity um, for some, okay? Uh, a rejection of the past. Someone is not coming back or someone did not come back to you and now you, you or the other person may really feel super anxious about it. The other thing that this is saying to me is um, these. This even though this is the six of cups, this looks like a nine, and so we have two nines here. And nines are the numbers of completion. Uh, of, excuse me, not completions of endings. Tens are the completions. Um, there's there's some sort of rejection of a soulmate tie that I'm hearing here, but now that's because that has kind of been rejected. I really feel like people are in a place where it's like, well, one of, someone has kind of moved on from this rejection and the other one that kind of didn't really take the offer recognizes to a certain extent that there was a soulmate connection here. There was the potential for something really great to happen, but it wasn't taken. And now this person really isn't coming back. They could be afraid that this person is not coming back because this person has walked on, moved on. And I really feel like this could be the Aries here because of just how this feels. And now the other person is like, well, shit, how do I get this back? Um, the other thing I was getting here was, or is uh, childhood issues. So again, with that situation where you reconciliation, maybe between family or friends or whatever, something from the past, um, it's almost as if, this is weird, but it's almost as if someone, someone doesn't want to see doesn't, doesn't want to see the past, doesn't want to go back into the past, doesn't want to really, is too caught up in the fear, the anxiety, the pain of what may have happened in the past to really let go of it. But even in, they can't, they're not letting go of it, so they're also not really dealing with it. And if that's the case, then don't, I would not suggest trying to force them to do it, nor would I really suggest you trying to expend too much effort in trying to get it to work, because again, in order for anything, any sort of reconciliation to really take hold, both parties need to be able or willing to do the work, okay? The challenge in the first half of your, uh, of your reading here, you have temperance, balance, um, alchemy, bringing two sides of the equation or two opposing factors into play um, to alchemize a new compound, or also patience. There really must needs to be some sort of patience here. And I know Aries, that's that's a hard lesson for us to learn. I get it. Um, but ultimately, what would really need to happen here is instead of focusing on what the universe is doing behind the scenes to bring the situation together, it's more important to just focus on 
you and the direction that you're going in because I really feel like you are inspired to do something brand new. You're starting on a brand new creative venture. Um, you're very balanced in this. You have a very strong idea of where you're going. You've got balance within internally, um, uh, emotionally, even mentally in this situation. So you're moving in the right direction. So instead of focusing on when something is going to come together, just focus on what it is you have going on in your future. All right. But be, of course, be in the present moment, live in the present moment, but also move in the direction that you really desire to go in and just let whatever is going on around you fall into place as it will naturally. Let the universe help you there. Temperance is coupled with the Eight of Wands. <laughs> See, and what this is saying to me here is the less you focus on it, the quicker things will move, okay? You have two cards of very swift movement here. You have the Chariot and you have the Eight of Wands. Um, this is also saying that for some of you, communication will come in time, but you just have to allow the universe to alchemize, to really work on your behalf, to bring the elements together so that the perfect opportunity will come into play, okay? There could be some there could be some challenging conversations that happen in December. Again, if you're dealing with reconciliations with family, then you know that could be challenging. Um, but maintain a sense of balance and an open mind too when it comes to these sorts of conversations. Really hear people out, be willing to hear to see things from their point of view, okay? The final message here for your first row or the potential outcome, you've got the Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, but here, you know, you have a situation where it's just like, all right, well, if this is not serving me, then I'm just going to cut it out and there really isn't going to be another discussion about it. I mean, it could be a situation where you're like, well, I tried to talk to you about it or this other person tried to talk to you about it and it just didn't go well. It just, you, someone wasn't having it. So it's just like, whatever, I'm just going to cut this out. I've got too much going on for me right now to allow any sort of bullshit to get in the way. Period. It's really, that's really all it is. It's not even supposed to be a dig on you or this other person, blah, blah, blah. It's just the way it is. Just cutting it out. It doesn't serve me. Bye. I'm done. Okay, the Queen of Swords could be, you know, we could be talking a divorce. Queen of Swords is a divorcee, and I know this is not something you really want to be discussing during the holiday season, but hey, that's what it could be. Queen of Swords is coupled, yeah, look, the Ace of Swords. So it's like, look, I've, I've seen all I need to see, I've heard all I need to hear, I'm done, I'm moving on, goodbye. And this doesn't feel like a bad thing. It doesn't feel like a knockdown, drag out fight. Because the Queen of Swords is not about that. I mean, unless she's reversed. And I'm really not getting that energy here, especially with the Ace of Swords. It's like, this is a clear epiphany moment. This is an aha moment. This is like... Now, this could be someone else in your life that's having an epiphany and cutting things out that no longer serve them, which could potentially allow them to come towards you Aries, or this could be you, Aries. You are cutting some things out and you're moving towards someone. And now there could be some sort of balance, reciprocation, within uh, reciprocity within the balance of give and take in your relationship. That's entirely possible. Getting into the second row here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, could have Aquarius in your chart. Uh, also, temperance is Sagittarius energy. Now, getting back to that for a second, Sagittarian energy, we are in Sagittarius season. Um, you could have this desire to really move quickly, and you might just have to temper that a little bit. Again, patience, okay? But here you have the star, Aquarian energy. Again, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but there is healing here. There is um, wish fulfillment here, wishing on a star. You might want to really utilize this full moon in Cancer, I believe it is, on December 22nd um, in order to bring some sort of wishes to fulfillment, to clear away some space for things to come through. But I really see here that there is some sort of wish or dream that's going to be granted and it really could be have a lot to do with this brand new form of inspiration that you have this move, new direction that you're moving in
The star is coupled with, aha, the hanged man. So Pisces energy here. Um, you could find yourself in a little bit of a bind, in a little bit of a precarious position. And this is actually kind of why I was I was saying in the beginning that December just feels like an, an, a time to just rest, recuperate, um, get your wits about you. And that's what the hanged man is saying here with this energy of being in somewhat of a bind, not really moving too quickly, not really moving too far, maybe even feeling a little bit stuck, even though you have this potential for momentum here with the Ace of Wands and the Chariot. There are still some things that need to be ironed out, that need to be figured out, especially with with uh, Temperance and the Eight of Wands here. But ultimately, use this time period to your advantage, okay? Really... Really use this time wisely in order to gain as much perspective as you can. Because I feel like once it's time to move, you're, you're, you're not going to have trouble coming out of this precarious position. Again, January might be a time when things really start to take action. So December might be the time to really plan it out, to feel it out, to, to generate the momentum that will propel you forward, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in your second row. You've got the King of Wands. So this could be you, this could also be a Leo, but I also, this could be you, Aries, really setting your sights on what it is that you want and going after it, okay? The King of Wands is looking directly at the star and the hanged man, so I really feel like you're tempering your fire right now, you're tempering your your drive to get going in order to really wait for the right timing, okay? You're really paying attention to the stars. You're paying attention to your intuition. You're paying attention to what you're learning about the situation in order to make the best decision so that when, when the time go does come and the floodgates open, you can really move forward. This could be someone staring at you, watching you, Aries. You could be watching someone else, but this really could be someone that wants to come forward towards you um, who's just waiting for the right moment. Even though the King of Wands is very fiery and passionate, I really feel like he knows when the right time to strike is so that he can maximize his chances of getting what he wants, okay? King of Wands is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is very fixed energy right here, right now, okay? Between the King of Wands, which is a fixed energy anyway, representing Leo, the Four of a four of Pentacles being someone that is very holding, holding on very dear to what they know and what they have. Um, this is an energy, what I'm getting here is someone is keeping their chips close to them, okay? Someone isn't really letting go. Someone may really not be giving off, offering too much right now, even though there's this fiery, passionate energy around you. I just feel like somebody's holding back and watching. Just holding back and watching. Knowing that they potentially have something to offer, but aren't quite doing it yet. But also, this is that energy for you, Aries, of holding on maintaining your focus, maintaining your balance. I really feel like you're very financially balanced right now. You're in a very good place and you want to preserve that in the month of December. So that is definitely what I'm seeing here and also what I've already mentioned, you know, about um, keeping your finances in check, um, just biding your time right now, okay? The challenge in the second row here, we have the Ace of Pentacles, making an offer, accepting an offer. Um, hmm. I just really feel like, you know, Aries, you have something coming forward towards you, and this definitely could be... This is, especially with the Ace of Wands here, you have three Aces, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and now the Ace of Pentacles. But especially with the Ace of Wands here, I really feel like you're really starting on something new, a passion project. And here is the challenge of maybe having the finances to get started, um, believing you have the finances or you'll, you'll receive the finances to get started. I just feel like you're really anxious to get this going. And the universe is... It's almost like you feel like the universe might be holding you back a little bit. You could actually be looking for some investors or investments to be made in this in this new project. 
excuse me, that you have going or that you want to get off the off the ground. Let's see what else. The Ace of Pentacles is coupled with <laughs> the Eight of Swords. All right. So this is fear. This is kind of fear that um, you may never receive some sort of offer of commitment, maybe. Um, this could be fear or anxiety around finding some sort of investors if you're looking for investors. Um, feeling trapped, feeling blindfolded, feeling stuck. But this is a... This is a mental prison surrounding finances. Um, but the thing about it is you really have to, you have the opportunity to cut yourself free from this Eight of Swords energy. That's really interesting. It's almost as if some of you feel like you're never going to receive the offer that you need. And I think that's, uh, what I what I think this the challenge here is understanding that you don't really need an offer from someone else to move forward. Aries, you're a cardinal energy. You can really you can do anything. Anybody can do anything, but you Aries are the most inclined to really break the mold, go against the, the grain, and do it. You don't necessarily need handouts from other people in order to get your dream off the ground. You can get it off the ground yourself just by your own efforts. And I really feel like that's what this means for a lot of you. All right, the final message here or the potential outcome in your second row. Ooh, you've got the devil, all right? Could be Capricorn energy. Um, by the end of the month, we will be in Capricorn season as far as Western astrology goes. Fear, desire, lust, Interesting. The devil is coupled with <laughs> the king of pentacles. Ooh. Materialism. Um, this is, I really feel like this is an extreme focus on finances, on riches, um, uh, on material gains. And I think that's where the challenge really comes into play here with the ace of pentacles and the eight of swords. Um, I feel like there could be too much of a focus on finances and career. Some of you may need to release yourself from a specific job that you were in or a specific boss. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or maybe another Earth sign. Officially, the King of Pentacles would be Taurus, but it could also be Virgo. There's some sort of tie here. Somebody has some sort of tie. It could be you, Aries, or it could be someone that you're connecting with, but someone has some sort of unhealthy tie to the physical world. And that really needs to be released, I think. Or I would I would imagine. If it's unhealthy, if it's toxic, there's some sort of toxic tie. And this could be actually a common theme for throughout your month. This could be something that you're dealing with. Now, look at this. With the Queen of Swords upright, uh, up, up on the top here, and now the King of Pentacles and the Devil, someone really could be realizing something and cutting some sort of toxic tie. With an Earth sign, it could be an Air sign cutting a toxic tie with an Earth sign, or it could just be someone cutting ties with someone else that is really just super materialistic. Okay. All right. Let's get into your Oracle guidance here for the month of December from the unicorn. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's see. Best message, please, for Aries. Let's see what you got here, Aries. Best message, please, for it. One card. Best message for Aries. Something nice and then Venus. All right. Let's give this one more go. Best message, please, for it. For Aries. Something rising and Venus. Woo! Okay. We have three here. All right. 
we have rebirth, anger, and balance. So rebirth says, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. And you really are doing that here, Aries, with the Ace of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Pentacles, okay? And I really feel like you're really not going to go get go too deep into anything unless there is some sort of reciprocity. There is a balance between give and take here. And that has a lot to do with what you've dealt with in the past. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. And that's totally what I see with the, the chariot here, okay? You're taking your aggression, you're taking your anger, your pain, your sorrow, your upset, your fear, and you're kind of balanced, kind of like combining uh, combining it all into one, balancing that out, and using it as a way to propel you forward. And that's really excellent. It's balanced and it's healthy. And then you have balance here. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. Set boundaries with your work. And that's exactly what you're doing here. It's almost as it's like the three, your three major, I'm sorry, your three overall energy cards that came out also now just came out in your Oracle deck. <laughs> that's kind of awesome, or at least your Oracle messages. So you're looking for balance here. And it definitely says take time to rest. And that's kind of what I was feeling like December is going to be like for a lot of you. It's just going to be a restful period, a time to get your wits about you, clean up any sort of um, toxic ties that you might have with finances, with money here, with the eight, Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords and any sort of toxic ties you may have to someone else. Financially, this could be a boss with the King of Pentacles and the Devil. It could, it definitely could be a boss. It could be a fatherly figure. It could be someone, it could be an earth sign or it just could be someone that's super materialistic, okay? But ultimately, Aries, this feels like a really good month for you. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you all have a happy holidays. I am available for private readings. I am going to be taking less readings than normal throughout the month of December. Again, this is a pretty restful month. Um, and also, it's the holiday season. So I do want to make time to spend with family and friends. But um, if you do want a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out. Pick out whichever one you like. If you can't decide on which one you would like to move forward with, email me and we'll chat about your situation and then I'll help you decide. Yes? Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to connecting with you guys again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!